Okay, I'm Dr. Kant. I'm the director of MECA, MECA, and then Texas, MECATX. Uh, we're trying something new today here. We've been doing these and putting them up as uh, archived videos. So we're going to try some live and uh, Zoom. We've done some Zooming in the past uh, for other things, but we have not done any for uh, technology. So <clears throat> we're also learning the power of Zoom along with the power of these uh, drones. What we're doing today is the unboxing of the new uh, DJI RoboMaster TT Tele Talent. This is a whole new world. Last year's Tele uh, took off around the world and became a favorite, very cheap drone for lots of people to use. And especially use outside, which it kind of wasn't intended to, but it does good photography and good video. Doesn't handle the very wind very well, but it does good flying outdoors. So anyway, DJI, if you remember that uh, Tello was put together by basically three different companies. DJI was the primary provider of the power of the uh, uh, drone industry. And then this other company, RYZE, <clears throat> is a company that sold the drone. And then Intel provided the power of their ship, which basically is the power that's being used to do all the fireworks shows with Intel. They've now backed out of that business, uh, but their uh, chip is being used for that. So what DJI has done is kind of backed out of that world. So it'd be interesting to see what happens in the Tito world as we know it. Um, they're going after educational world. So that's a totally different market than the consumer market around the world. The educational world usually means they're going to try to sell maybe four, six, eight, 10, 12 drones at a time, not one to individual consumers. Plus, they put the power into it of uh, DJI. So now it's gonna be more part of the maker world than the consumer world. What I mean by that is the people who do soldering, who make electronics, do electronic uh, uh, hobbies and so on. And this is gonna become part of that. This new drone is compatible with the uh, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, um, and several other uh, type of devices, depending on how you can program it. The Tello itself has got some new things added on. So basically the TV, as we know the Tello uh, talent is not gonna be sold or is not at this point anymore being sold in the United States and probably will not. It's being tied into the Rural Master um, market, I guess, let's say that's going in after our educational system. So the Rural Master was first a robot with all the same technology. So it's got the same uh, SDK software development kit in it. And the other thing is the old Tello uses SDK 2.0. The new one has got a, uh, a new one, SDK 3.0, and is quite more complicated than the simplistic form of just flying. The reason being is you have these extensions. So what we're gonna to do today is the unboxing of the extension kit. This is the kit that you buy that will turn your Tello EDU, only the EDU, okay? Not the Ironman and not the standard, only the EDU into a Tello ta talent, okay? With the power of that. But you'll have to learn a lot of new uh, programming techniques and how to connect the things. Alex here is going to do the unboxing for you and he'll show you the various parts and then I have a PowerPoint presentation uh, to go over a little bit more detail some of these.
but Alex has done most of these videos for the last two or three Sundays. So he's going to do the unboxing of the Robomaster TT. Some people are calling it a creativity kit. Other people are just calling it a, a kit. So, okay, Alex, take over. Okay, so here... So here I have the RoboMaster Telotalent expansion kit. Let's go ahead and open it up. So, first up, let's see. Get this open. But first up, we have the um snap on bot on top for the teletown as you see it actually has the tt and the words teletown on there um next up we have a few things in here i guess yeah two or three so first up we have this which i'll show more in depth after I finish going over everything else. And then we have the lights, which come off of here, and you'll put this on. And based on what I know, there is no specific way. This, there is. Of course, as you see, I so. Sometimes it's a bit hard to get it. You have to really get it in the right spot at the top. Or else, as you see, it won't go on her. Okay. So there you go. And then now we am going to go over this. And then of course we have yeah, the manual. And if you have it or just go like that, you will see you of course have the charging cable. Now so here on this we have what looks to be seven by seven, seven by two pins, which will plug in to here. And then if you flip this over, you have a spot for other pins to hook up to an Arduino. So first up, I'm gonna go over the basics, which are the, Five volt, three volts by three. Ground the two grounds, and then the extra stuff, which is the I zero two, I zero one two, I zero five, and then this one right here is covered up by that what looks to be like solder then we have i04 i015 i027 i014 i013 i026 and then back to this and then these are like this but they are on a bigger scale. And this is what you would get to hook up the Arduino. And what you would do is you would stick the shorter end 
right there. And hook it up like so. And then break.